and it can be abused. The companies that are developing the products are not security companies. There's a breakdown on what happened with OpenAI. It's not a matter of if, but when. The question is, when? In, in regards to using it as a malicious tool, the, the structure or the bare bones are already out there. Something that can be implemented and it can be abused, right? The, the idea is that it's it's a tool. Like we mentioned last week, it is something that is a tool that's, and it was designed for good. Well, it was designed, I should say. Right. Uh, it, it can have an implica or implication on multiple jobs, whatever it may be. But as far as the focus of not using it maliciously, that's up to whoever is going to be developing or extending onto that tool. Uh, as far as where I see integration with AI in the next five, 10 years, your smart home devices are going to become AI driven. It could be like your smart fridge. It knows what's in your fridge. You could potentially, you know, say, here's the, uh, here's like a Country shopping list. list that I've got. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what you got to order or get your, get your, I mean, shoot. Groceries are delivered to, delivered today. So even when you run out of milk, you might say, okay, when I need $50 worth of groceries, here's what I normally get when I'm out of those things. Just order it, and then your groceries show up in your house. That can all be built into AI. It doesn't have to be anything super complicated. Um, but my concern, kind of rolling this back, is the amount of smart devices. The Amazon Alexa, Google Home, that kind of thing. Sure. They are still open mics in the house. Right. And yes. if you, from a security standpoint, if you see that as, you know, if you would not invite somebody in from the, from the street. It's just say, yeah, come on and listen to my conversation. Yes. That's not truly an open mic to the extent of everybody can listen at any point in time. However, those major companies have already come out and said they are recording, you know, that that kind of data feed, or they can get subpoenas for uh, records at that time of what may happen in a in a specific room. Right. So, you know, even security cameras, that kind of thing. I just don't want it in my house. I like the idea of having a smart or smart home, smart switches, fine, whatever. Smart garage doors, door locks, door locks are you know possible as far as integration and the security behind it but again talking about how we were discussing products a couple podcasts ago the companies that are developing the products are not security companies they're not the ones going out and creating the software and saying yeah we're going to stay up to date and we're going to like our cell phones we might we might release the software and come out with one or two updates your cell phone's more secure than that in 10 years, the security on these devices is going to be garbage, and you've got a smart refrigerator with you know, a camera built into it or uh, whatever it may be. I don't like how AI can be integrated into those devices. Right. Five, right. From now. And that reminds me of like the Ring sidewalk debacle. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah. Amazon Alexa has the uh, Amazon sidewalk. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, it, you... Is that the, th the thing you were just talking about, though? It's one and the same? Uh, sort of. The sidewalk thing is when, um, if you have uh, sidewalk enabled, then it allows you to use other people's Wi Fi to help triangulate or use the. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. It, it know, uses but... yeah. the smart speaker as a uh, basically a, a long range frequency uh, broadcast system, is what I'll call it. Or like a repeater. Kind of, but it's not yeah. specifically just for internet. So your neighbor can't connect their laptop to your Amazon Alexa and use your internet. What it's for is dog tanks or maybe even like uh, Apple doesn't do this. But the Apple tags, AirPods. Uh, Air tags. Air tags. Air tags. Air tags. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. thank you. Uh, I mean, there's a couple different low power devices. Again, like GPS trackers. Like I said, for a dog, you put on a dog collar, you mm -hmm. charge it once every six months. If your dog gets out, it's like, where the hell did my dog go? You can pull up an app and it can kind of triangulate with using those devices to find your dog. Um, that said, you have to opt out of allowing your devices to get right. in your house, connected to your network, 
you have to opt out of those services. You're automatically in those. And uh, when Amazon announced that, that that was something that I pulled back. But again, for, yeah, right. for Ring, yeah, they didn't tell anybody about that until after the fact. And I was like, right. oh, okay, that's that's not okay. That's that was the last time that I used a, a, an Amazon Alexa or a smart home device was whenever I heard about Sidewalk. Yeah. At that mm-hmm. point, I unplugged it and told <laughs> everyone in the house that we were no longer using this. Right. Yeah. 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 My biggest concern and my biggest scare with the AI is right now, are we seeing the first steps of it becoming self aware? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. And there are some people who would argue we are. I'm not sure if we're there yet. I'm not sure I've seen any kind of like a mountain of irrefutable proof Mm -hmm. to suggest that what we have today is anything more than pattern recognition and parroting right and and that's what i want to think that's what i want to believe but whenever i read these articles and they talk about banter that can happen back and forth now between ai but that's that's just that's patterns when when it but even even manipulation to come back to that point you brought up is a pattern right right? what 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 why are they what's the reason for the manipulation and that's where I feel AGI becomes that much more real, you know, real. Like, aha, tricked you, got you to believe this when in fact it was that. I'm like, okay, that's manipulation. That's showing a sign of intelligence beyond just giving you, you know, regurgitating what it believes, you know, you might be, you know, trying to get. Um, and pattern recognition, right? Look, basing sure. basing it upon everything else that that uh, everything in its data set, uh, the 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 LLM. So I, I feel like we will see that happen. It's not a matter of if, but when. The question is when, how soon. Five years is given how fast things are moving. Not without you're outside the realm of possibility. Twenty thirty, I'll guess. Potentially, that's my guess. Yep. If I was asked in, to give a yes or no question, I would currently say no. It's not to the point where. Today. Correct. Today, right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I uh I don't have any smart devices in my house and except for my thermostat, nest thermostat, and I do have a ring doorbell, but opt out of sidewalk obviously, you know. Yeah. Now speaking of um AI, I don't know if y'all caught the news, but uh apparently this is a whirlwind. Like there was huge drama uh with within the greater community. I, in fact, I had to wait for a synthesis to be able to break down what exactly happened. And the bottom line is right now, as of this moment, everything has kind of been restored back to its original state. So what had happened over the past three or four days or so, OpenAI's board fired Sam Altman, CEO, Mm -hmm. with no warning, named the CTO Mira Murati as interim CEO. Right. Then OpenAI's president, Greg Brockman, resigned in protest along with several senior researchers. So this was not a small move. Uh, OpenAI's board considered bringing Sam Altman back and resigning. Mira tried to hire Sam and Greg. She was allegedly Team Sam, but then was rebuffed by the board. The board changed interim CEO after less than two days or fewer than two days and hired former Twitch CEO Emmett Shear as interim CEO. So this is all happening. I'm not done yet. The drama is... This is Just starting. Yeah. This is over the past few days. This All this happened. Uh, the board wouldn't tell Emmett in writing why they fired Sam, the CEO of OpenAI. I remember ChatGPT, Dolly, big thing. Microsoft hired Sam Altman. Hired him, yep. Yep. To lead AI at Microsoft, but also maybe not. Kind of like they were making big promises, but like... They weren't sure how it was going to play out. 90%, 90, 90% of OpenAI's employees were threatening to leave unless Sam was reinstated. Yes. That's how much Big they believe deal. in the uh, Ilya, or uh, is, it, uh, is it Ilya? Uh, the co-founder board member who voted Sam out switched his position on removing uh, Sam and regretted his role. Then customers started to threaten leaving 
right? Mm -hmm. Using other platforms. Uh, then the OpenAI board approached Ned Friedman, ex-GitHub CEO, and Alexander Wang, a, a scale AI CEO, to take over as CEO. They both said no. Uh, then the OpenAI board tried to merge with Anthropic. All this, bottom line, Sam has been rehired. Sam is back on board. Uh, but, wow. I mean, this is drama. But right. again, I'm watching on on X. X is pretty much the, 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 the place to... Um, to watch a lot of the AI stuff unfold, I couldn't even keep up. I'm like, what is going on? What is happening? Couldn't even begin to understand what was going on. So I'm glad I, I found this breakdown to better be able to explain. But OpenAI, can I say that? OpenAI right. is theoretically back on track. I don't know if it's a lesson learned, but hang on just a second. My dog is chewing the headphone cable. She's on my That's lap good for now. it. No, that's not a good thing. Um, no, no chewing on headphone cables just because it's in your face. Uh, so, it's everything's fine, everything's normal, back to normal, theoretically. But to say that confidence um, in at least the board is, is as solid as it was before is, yeah, no, this is it. Ain't it ain't over? But no. uh, at least Sam has been reinstated as CEO, which should. Uh, allay a lot of the concerns, at least from individuals at the company who are ready to bounce. I'm very like, naturally drama. curious as to why. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, this yeah. will make a very interesting... What's the uh, reason for the ousting to begin yep, with? The uh, uh, Netflix, I'm sure, is, is it has the rights to this as a miniseries, because man, what a miniseries this would be. That would be the way to try to, like, try to suss through uh, all this nonsense to get to I mean, granted, they dramatize in in of in course. a lot of these uh, 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 these made for TV specials, but yes. I guarantee someone's got the rights for this story, guaranteed. Yeah, no. Um, the thing for me wasn't the uh, what happened nearly as much as how fast it happened. Yeah, that's I, what heard, I heard. I uh, heard uh, CEOs fired, and then like. 16 minutes later, I think is what it was. It said uh, he's coming on board at Microsoft. I'm like. In 16 minutes, that happened. That's amazing. And then I started watching the details after that. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it was the timing that I was like, what's going on over there? So Very glad, uh, hopefully everything's okay. Well, the CEO's back. Whether or not everything's okay remains to be seen. Yeah. So that, that there, there's there's a breakdown on what happened with OpenAI to dovetail, Glendon, what you were, what you were talking about. That's crazy. Yeah, it, it's... I don't know. It's just like everybody else. Like I said, you said that I just want to know why. <laughs> and, well, and I'm, we'll ever know why. We will. We will it, the why will come out. Like there's and it I, might have been a moral conversation. It, it, the morality clause. Oh, we're going to do this. No, this is not a moral thing to do. We're not doing this. We're right. walking type of thing. It could have very potentially been something like that. That's well, what I'm curious about. Yeah. The truth will come out. I'm I'm almost, I, I, I can't, we don't know when. But it, it was a big enough thing, high profile. There's no way that it's going to float along without us knowing the truth, in inevitably. Elon will probably just buy it or something. Yeah, know. that's all he's got to do. <laughs> well, he's got his own uh, AI thing now. I can't remember the name, um, but he's he's tilting into that. Well, he's got a neural link too. Yes, that's a mess. that scares me. I don't yeah, know. I don't trust much. Elon to put anything in me yeah. at all. I don't want Hell Charles no. and Xavier poking around inside. My nope. <laughs> Last I need, uh, not gonna happen. Very well said. Um, all right, Glenn, and thank you for for bringing yeah. that topic. I don't know if it's if we've run the run through it, but uh, I'm glad you brought it up because I'm I'm always fascinated in having these deeper technological conversations for so many reasons. Uh, Technology is good, but uh, if you get one bad actor, uh, that's what I'm saying. God only knows what's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Right. Now, the thing I was going to bring up is it is related. There, uh, there's a new technology that is not yet available. Originally turned heads because it is unique. Humane AI, while we're on the yes. topic of AI, uh, has a device that you can basically pin, kind of like uh, you know, on your shirt, and it beams the, the the graphical user interface, the GUI, onto like say your your hand. And unique. I mean, you see it at a distance, so to speak, and it, it looks incredibly unique, incredibly um, futuristic. 
the idea that you can interface just you know using your your, your palm driven by AI. But the thing about that technology that has people pushing back already isn't necessarily the idea, though I would put the idea of it as kind of like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I get that's that's neat. Uh, still, I, I feel well, well within the realm of gimmickry. But, you know, having not used one, I can't pass judgment, not passing judgment. But what people are pushing back on with the humane AI device more than anything is not just the price, which is expensive, right? We're talking bleeding edge tech, something that is radically different. People haven't used this. It's a different usability paradigm all, all, all together compared to its contemporary, uh, contemporaneous or contemporaries, like the, uh, the other devices that, that are available today from other companies. It's not the price, which is expensive. It's that it's tied to a subscription as well as an expensive price. And this has got a lot of people up in arms. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, I can take the subscription, but not the cost of the device. Or I can take the device, but not with the subscription. And it, when you blend that sentiment this early on with the idea that it's already squarely within the realm of gimmickry, that may very well spell disaster for the uh, adoption of this product, despite its merits, right? Not not because of its merits, but because of how they've staged uh, consumer sentiment, subscription versus pay for something outright. People, I feel, are burned out on subscriptions. Not that they want to buy expensive yeah. devices, but mm -hmm. you know, tying it to a subscription, <laughs> we've seen over and over again, going all the way back, hardware that's tied to a paid subscription when it's done, when the company no longer finds the business model valuable, you've wasted all that time, all the money, all the resources, and you're never going to have everything, anything again. Not to say that buying an expensive device wouldn't mean that you're going to get orphaned, you know, independent of a subscription, but it just adds, that subscription model adds insult to injury. So I have no horse in this race. I have no feeling apart from, yeah, I, I tend to fall into that camp of like, I'm burned out on subscriptions. I'd rather pay for something outright, not not outright, not be being tied to a subscription. Whether they change that or not remains to be seen.